Good afternoon. We are about to start our webinar session of this afternoon. We are going to talk about uh, uh, an application of our product BDS to walk. That is the time up and go test. First of all, I think that it's quite important to make an introduction about why it's so important to analyze the walking pattern. So why there is this such a strong uh, interest in this uh, particular gesture, in this particular movement. And uh, I, can, um, I can tell you that is because generally uh, the walking pattern can be um, strictly re um, recognized by the state of health or even the age of the person that is actually walking. So, for example, if a person is walking slower, slower or if, it, if, it, if he may start shuffle, these are uh, some uh, indications and indicators about a person getting older. Or if a person suffered about a stroke or something like that, we can see actually a very different uh, walking pattern. So the clinical and investigation field recognized the importance of gait information many years ago. Nowadays, what is the change is that also in the clinical field, this need of quantifying the person's gait difficulties became very strong and very powerful. So from, from this point, we have the reason why also in the clinical field there is this great and huge interest in, uh, in the gait pattern. Of course, uh, to, due to the evident and complete analysis that we can do looking at the, at, at the way a person walks, of course, several tests uh, were born based on the walking pattern. So during the years, we have this plenty of tests, like, for example, two, six, or 10 minutes walking test, the 10 meters walking test, turning the turning test and what we have looked to, we are going to have a look today in the time up and go. All these tests are usually applied on patients that suffered about neurological disease in order to assess different aspects of the neuromotor capability starting from the balance up to the risk of fall going through the uh, walking capabilities. The time up and go test in particular is a test to assess mobility, balance, walking ability and fall risk in order to adult and can be performed very quickly and applied over all this population of uh, uh, patients that you can see here on, the, on this slide. So starting from the neurological disease that goes from uh, something localized like a stroke that then creates motor, motor problems or something that can degenerate like Parkinson's disease, Alzheimer's disease and cerebral palsy and all these problems that start from a, a low level going up and injuring more and more the patient. The technology that we are going to use is the GWAP. I know that a lot of you already know about this sensor uh, and this product. And uh, we decide to open uh, open up the, the field the fields of this uh, of this sensor and uh, apply the same analysis that we can see with the GWAP over the other kind of test, for example, the time up window test. Uh, this sensor, as as you all know, is a wireless device communicating with a computer through a Bluetooth connection that has a range of about 20 meters. And inside this sensor, we can find a triaxial, a triaxial accelerometer, triaxial gyroscope, and a magnetometer. Apply to that. So what creates the system is the certified protocol. So something that can uh, analyze the data coming from the sensor, transform them in data of gate analysis. This is, is this algorithm applied is the, is the result of, of studies that took place for one year and a half. So applying this part, that this particular protocol is something that we have validated and to, and behind which there are a lot of studies. So what then is important is the fact that I can easily compare what is going on with the G, I mean what is going on with the walking pattern and the normative band. And in this case, I will have also the specific analysis of the stand up and the stand to seat and the turnings. And of course, the report still remains automatically and quick to be uh, created. 
what we will have to do is tilt the position sensor on the same point. So basically, we can also think about having the patient performing a, a normal walking test and then doing a time up and go to the CBT test. The subject will be asked to start seated, uh, seated comfortable on a chair, stand up, walk for seven or three or seven meters straight, turn around, coming back, and have a seat again. When the subject will be ready to start, we just need to click on Start Storage and the acquisition will start automatically. And once I stop the acquisition and save it, the, the famous report that we were talking about will appear automatically.